I think we're looking at 50, anywhere between 1,000 and 2,000 calls a month. Those calls are answered 24-7 by a team of six counselors with the crisis hotline, providing listening ears and directing people toward local resources. Definitely this summer and into fall, we've seen probably the highest numbers that we've ever seen on the statewide line. Foundation 2 directed us to the Iowa Department of Public Health for specific numbers. We reached out to the department who couldn't find anyone to speak with us at the time. But Martell says what he can detail is the type of calls they're receiving, ranging from suicidal thoughts to people looking for local resources to help handling substance abuse and the aftermath of the derecho. Generally, we get calls from people that feel like they are in crisis at that moment. A CDC report shows 40% of adults in the U.S. in June said they were struggling with mental health or substance abuse. Earlier this week, Governor Reynolds reported 319 Iowans died by suicide this year between the months of March and September. The governor took time to emphasize COVID Recovery Iowa, a program offering free virtual counseling services overseen by the Iowa Department of Human Services. People who who are socially isolated are are texting and chatting with you know trained counselors. Foundation 2's Drew Martell says the more resources available, the better. Now is a time when we really have to um, uh, look out for each other, especially as the holiday season continues.